Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to design a roof truss. Means we are making very simple video. We are not going in depth of the design. Okay, for that you have to click on this design tab. Then here there is an option of current code. So you have to select your code. Here I am going to select IS 800-2007 LSD okay then there are many parameters you can give okay design parameters are there okay if you click on each of the parameter you will come to know uh, what the parameter is about and what the value you need to give okay so you can change it as per your as as per your design otherwise it will software will take the its own value okay so we are not going to make the detailed video we are just going to see a simple design procedure so you just click on design command here check code add this then click on take off add this you have to add these two parameters so click on check code and go here to assign to view click on assign okay next is steel takeoff so again you go to assign to view option okay now you have to analyze and run analysis okay you can go to the post processing mode you can click on apply okay so if you click here on the beam here there is an option unity check so you can see uh, the unity check if it is exceeding one then you have to change these sections okay so that means they are failing so if you want to check where it is failing so you have to double click on it and here it is an option of steel design so here you can see the section is failing in the compression that is critical case is the compression case so that means our section is getting failed in the compression so you have to again need to select the bottom called okay and you can change the section whatever section you have assigned okay in section database you can go you can select uh, the section you want to add okay yeah, right now I will add ISMB 150 also I will assign okay so let's try again analyze error analyze like okay so come to the beam come to the unity check so here you can see the criteria okay design property actual ratio allowable ratio slenderness compression all these details you will get here okay right now it is less than one that means we have given the sufficiently safer section okay then after that you can go for the report how to make report for that you have to click on analysis print uh, sorry you have to click on post processing here there is an option of report but before that we have to take some pictures here you can take the right click take the picture here you can give give the name model okay then if you want to see the geometry okay these are the beam numbers so you can take the picture and give the name beam number okay similarly if you want to see the node you can press shift n you can take the picture and you can give the name node number okay now if you want to see the 
loading you can take the pictures okay for value you can click shift v you can right click you can go for take picture and this is the live load okay similarly you can click on the dead load you can take the picture of the dead load case you can click on ok similarly you can take the picture of the wind load also okay right click take picture and you can write wind load okay so here for unity check also you can click take picture you can write unity check you can click on ok so this is the way you can take the pictures now again go to the reports tab okay so click here on the first input okay so job info is there you can directly go to the pictures and you can add all the pictures here you can decide the sequence also like you can take the node number up then you can take the dead load above the live load okay you can take the unity check later okay so in the input or in the output you can take the results that you want such as beam end force summary you can add okay reaction summary you can add for design you have to take the unity check so you can put this unity check uh, on the lower side okay like in material you can take here section tab you can take and you can just put this section tab at the very first okay so you just need to click here on the print okay you can see here next page so your model beam number node number your you can see here load cases dead load live load wind load then reaction summary is here okay here unity check is here that means all the members are passing so this is the way you can do the report and you can you can take the print okay you can convert it to the pdf also you can just click on okay so here you can give the name okay report and you can just click on the save button so your pdf will get generated so you can see here okay so this is your report you can take the printouts of this report in which the details related to the modeling load conditions load combination also you can add then the b main forces reactions okay so many details will be there unity check is there okay likewise you can prepare the report okay so thank you so much for watching the video you can go for in depth design we will make the video on that also but for this video we'll just have only the overall design procedure in the stand proof we have not going in the deep in the details okay thank you so much please like share subscribe the channel thank you so much